Um, now that we got the uh, <laughs> tech part of it open know, look at, over. Look at Johnny. He has yes. like a million tabs. Uh, these are all tabs that I will be using in the interview, by the way. So thank you for reserving judgment on that. Um, oh my God. So for those of you who may not know me, I'm Johnny Money, 26-year-old uh, structural, well, civil engineer looking to be structural. Uh, just started streaming about six months ago, primarily a Hunt Showdown streamer. And I will be performing... I gotta disable this shit. I can't do this if people are gonna be spamming stuff. Um, you can't. <laughs> I will be performing a interview with Stormadin, who is another Hunt Showdown streamer. He is a 50-year-old guy. Am I saying your age right? Yes, that is correct. Okay, so... 50 year old guy um he has lo lots of experience that he will share with us um storm is there anything you want to add to your intro uh of who i am yes uh been married 15 years have two kids daxon who killed me twice tonight and she's mm -hmm. now grounded <laughs> she's, a, she's an awesome uh, player and streams on the side got a 20 year old son second year of college um <laughs> J zero H N N Y Pride. <laughs> got two dogs. Got a brother uh, and a mom. And uh, there you go. Been streaming since last July. And nobody cares. All right, moving and, on. There you go. Nobody cares. <laughs> All right. So just so everybody's aware, Storm and I have a uh, have a good relationship. So this is more of an informal thing. And just to show how good of a relationship we have, we have clip numero uno. Yep, right on you. This is me and Storm playing. This is Storm's point of view on me. Oh, wait, that's you. <laughs> Dude, you had no blue glowy on you. I had no blue glowy, but you can see <laughs> the red cross because you that's where I was. blue glowy on you. That's funny. That's where I was, uh. Because I'm a teammate. So, in retaliation, stuff like this happens. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> you better have gotten 5,000 yes. fucking bits for that. You better have gotten 5,000 fucking bits for that. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh let's god. see now. Let me let me pull out my notes. So, um, starting off, um, we are... I, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Hunt, first of all. Right. Yes. So let let's talk some positive. Right. What is the best game mechanic that you have seen in Hunt or in any game in general? But you know, Hunt specific. Like, mm -hmm. what's the best game mechanic? Because um, you've been with Hunt since two point something, right? I think. I actually, I don't remember when, when July, whatever last July was. Yeah. So it has to be two point something or something. So yeah, two point, two point something. What yeah. What do you think is the best? <clears throat> game mechanic that hunt has going right now just as it's core core system you know five teams in teams of two you know pvp pve i mean it's everybody else is doing battle royales of 50 60 100 people in there hmm. and all you do is run around and pick up stuff that's on the ground and rinse and repeat every single game this one you got to deal with I mean, even tonight, dealing with freaking PvE environment that's in the middle of what you're trying to do to PvP. So, I mean, just its core its core system is what's the best thing about right. this game. So, what you're saying is you like the fact that you that it's more strategic uh, and you're not just running around like a headless chicken. Um, <laughs> right. Just waiting to get shot by one of the other 49 people. Yes. Yeah, because... <laughs> Well, yeah, and that, and it takes more skill. I mean, I know everybody, we all complain about the hit registry, and it's there, it's not there, and the ping times, but, you know, I you look at that on the Battle Royale games, of any of the Battle Royale games, you can take your little machine gun and shoot somebody clear across the frickin' map that's a tiny little ant-looking thing, hmm. and they're dead. So, you know, this, this takes a lot more skill. Well, I mean, you, you could do the same, and well, then like, call bullshit yeah. on the game. <laughs> oh, <true. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, and I, and this is something that I I want to touch on about um mentality, yes. right? So mentality. We all know um 
hunt is mostly populated by uh, older players, right? And I don't mean old as in you. I mean old as in they've been playing the game for a while, right? Yeah, more you could say more veteran players, not older players. Right, right. Semantics. <laughs> so, what do you think is the newer experience, or the new player experience um, versus, you know, players that have been playing for a while? Uh, I think it's more difficult a little bit for them to get it. I mean, I think it could be frustrated out of the gate. I mean, just as an, I mean, what's nice is that newer players are coming back. People that tried it for a little while, they've been coming back. I mean, with, with an alt account that I have, I'm, you know, starting out at rank, you know, 10, Hmm. I'm getting, I was getting matched up with people that hadn't played the game in five months, you know, and they're just coming back to it and they don't know it's changed. Okay. So so you're a piece of shit who's sandbagging well, we got it we got well, it we got it keep going yeah because because <laughs> it, it's a lot easier to kill people too because <laughs> there we have it as i told you guys before we are going to be unraveling storm and we have just but, peeled know, the but, outer layer of the onion and he's a douchebag it's interesting to see it's interesting to see from that perspective so mm. i could see that it could be maybe a little frustrating for somebody new that's not as into you know first person shooters as much, but they like they hear a lot of buzz about the game. They want to get it and try it and all that. So, anyways. right. And so the current system has it so <laughs> where once you reach level thirty four, I believe, is when you start getting matched up with like everybody. Oh, um, is that right? I, I think that's how it works I right now. Was, I thought it was off the Elo system with all your. Well, yeah, games. but. I, huh. It is based on the ELO, but I think it kicks off at level 34. Um, gotcha. But, you know, that begs the question, like, when I was first playing, it wasn't until, you know, I did my first prestige or got to, like, 90-something that I was starting to catch on to what the game was about. And I really loved it, and I kept pushing through with it, but it can be hard right. for... Yeah, yeah, because most people are thinking everything about this game is about sound. Right. Oh my gosh, I gotta creep around, I gotta crouch around, I can't put off this or that, the crows and all this stuff. And then the more veteran players players just don't give a crap. You know? Yeah, yeah, that that is true. And people are correcting me saying that at sixteen is when you get mashed up with everybody else. Well, sixteen you start losing you don't you, you don't lose any of your hunters until you reach rank six. So maybe after sixteen I thought I, I don't know. It's probably somewhere in there between sixteen and twenty something. Yeah, well, that's that's what people are saying. So I mean, it it can be rough, and I'm wondering if it'll trigger something, uh, like we have over here on one of your uh, clips, right, where new players might feel like this. What's that? <laughs> Dead over there? That's probably you dead over there, right? Oh! <laughs> what the frick? And we have a rage quit. <laughs> Who was that that just killed me? That was synthetic. Oh my god. <laughs> so, we have a rage wow. quit, right? And we, we've really, all had I those moments. Really pissed off that night. Yes, yes. So, you must have been having a terrible night. And, um. <laughs> I know, right? A Bane, is this a roast? <laughs> No, but I mean, I just I just want to showcase the fact that, you know, everyone goes through this. No matter how experienced you are, you oh, will yeah. still feel tilted. You will still rage quit at this game, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Let's so, get caffeinated on here. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, I mean, it just has to be really, really bad for um for new players. So, my question to you is this. What is an incentive that can be given to new players um, that may want to try the game out, but, you know, they're just dying left and right and they feel unmotivated you know their will to live has been destroyed they're a tiny ant against a monster truck like <clears> what could these what could be done to help these new players stick with the game honestly i think the thing is if you get if you're playing a random and you get randomed with a new player just don't crap on them help them out you know and encourage other people if other i mean you know, I piped into a couple of uh, newbie hunt streamers. And mm-hmm. I don't know who these people are, but they they say they're new to the game. I'm in there giving them advice. Do this, do that. 
you know, I'm not like boasting anything. About okay, me. I, but that's that's something that. that's something you are doing as a player. And but let's yeah. be honest, how often do you play random with randoms? Not that many. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, everyone who's been playing yeah. for a while has gone through the yeah. randoms, and well, they've and just that's, and that's the thing when you find a partner <laughs> when you get you know four, five, six partners that you play with all the time. It does mean a lot when you can sync up with them. You know how the other person's gonna move. And oh, I agree. I and, agree. I agree. And that's so, why girls sync up their periods. By oh, the way, okay. so uh, just throwing that out there. That's great. I hope <laughs> my daughter doesn't watch this interview. Or anybody else's daughter. No, no, but this is a fact. This is fact. Like, girls do sync up their periods, and um, okay. they sync up to the alpha one. Oh, my God, alpha Nick, one. I've been playing with you for the last freaking three days, four days. Dude. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so um, kind of moving on, um, I want to talk a bit about, you know, what are some of your favorite moments in Hunt? I have pulled up a few, just okay. like two or three. Um, let's just go for it. I know that you love this one. It's been referenced a lot. You have it set as a redeemable, right? You're just uh, playing. Yeah, You're just good. having fun. Watch it. You're, You're going to die. You're going to get poisoned. Kempi's running oh, ahead Kempe. of you. Yeah, Kempi. <laughs> Kempi <gets> Bam. <laughs> Boom. Straight in the head. Straight in the head. Yeah, that was great. Uh, yes, yes, it was. Yes, it was. And so we also have this very special moment that I was able to capture as well, right? <laughs> Wait, do that again? Oh, yeah, that's right. Thank you. <laughs> yes, definitely. So, you know, you have your moments, and then the, there's... The hmm. best moments in this game are when you're laughing, man. That there's is so true. many funny times. I mean, this game is so frustrating at those times. With whether it's PVE interrupting your PVP or the or the other you know issues with the game, but the the freaking campers humor <laughs> and the laughter you get out of this game How is did just I kill it's, you know it's just it's great. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I would agree. I mean, some of my best nights have been the ones where I perform the worst in hunt. Yeah, I mean, especially when you just start messing around or doing dorky stuff or just something funny happens. I mean, you can't. I mean can't put a value on that i mean this game costs 30 bucks 20 bucks or some whatever mm -hmm. i mean jesus for free if you want a giveaway from one of the, free, the streamers or yeah or free yeah so, yeah so, so um people are asking what is where was it what is the biggest problem that you have with the game like yeah, what the matter. biggest problem with hunt <laughs> is uh, the biggest problem, um, they, they need more advertisement. They need to get more players. They don't have enough players, you know? And as soon as, you know, the patch comes out six, Oh, it's great. It's great for a couple of weeks and then it's going to die back down to its normal levels. Mm -hmm. I mean, they need to, they need to do a game, a free weekend. You know, they need to get another boss. They need one more boss. So we got four. There's only two per map. So you're rotating and that's, that's a good thing. Maybe another map next year. When next TwitchCon comes out, but they need a they need more players. So, so what I've heard, what I've heard, and you can't quote me on this, but I've heard that they want to release the game when they have three maps and four bosses, or four maps and, and four bosses. Fine. I think. Yeah, and that would be fine. And then start advertising the hell about it. I mean, but see, the problem is, is that they've got to push now to get it on Xbox. Let's get yeah. it on Xbox. Let's get it out for the masses. So now they got developers and programming and conversions and doing all that stuff. So the PC people were going to, you know, probably just my guess would be a little bit slowed down on what's going to be happening there because they need to, it's all about money. This is a business. If they're not making money. They're not going to keep making the game. Right. So right. Well, what if um, Epic bought Hunt and put it as an Epic Store exclusive? How would you feel about that? <laughs> <clears throat> if you made it an exclusive? Yeah, Epic Store so exclusive. Oh, and got it off of Steam? Yes, oh, but yeah, they put money into it, and then they would be able to advertise and put more development into it. I, You know, that is a big thing, and that's what's drawing a lot of developers over to Epic, and also Discord has their, their thing now. But, I mean, a lot of people have invested in Steam. I've got 15 years on Steam. I mean, I only want to use Steam because it works right. so well. Right. When, e when EA tried to come out 
and uh, and you know make a steam, and obviously they have a competitive one. But I don't. I hate it. It sucks. It's a crappy store. So I mean, Steam is just so perfectly laid out, and uh, it works well. So. So you're saying screw hunt if it gets bought no, by. No, I mean a obvious. No, obviously, if it switches, I'd switch with it. I mean, I've got a lot of time invested in the game, twenty two hundred hours plus. So, you know, wherever it goes, I'm gonna go. Right. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Well. I don't like the store where I need more wine right now to keep answering these questions. <laughs> Ah, don't worry, man. We're we're moving along. I'm 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 almost done with like some technical stuff, and then we're just gonna goof around for a few minutes. Okay. I want to talk about. Yes. You know, we were talking about the mentality about you, your silent rage quit people, um, yes. <clears throat> just feeling frustrated with the game. I want you to watch this video, and tell me if it resonates with you and Hunt. Oh my god. It's not about Hunt, but I feel like it captures the essence. <laughs> I want to show my favorite game to everyone. Holy fuck. And try to let you see it how I see it. It's just such bullshit. <laughs> Don't give fuck. Because the way that I see it... Am I watching two different videos? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Starcraft told me to go fuck myself. Oh, you're gonna have fun today? You're gonna try hard today? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I hate Starcraft. It's a fucking terrible game. That game does not fucking count. That is the worst, stupidest thing that has ever happened. <laughs> that somehow I fucked up. Uh, what? God. Let me, uh, no. put my camera right here so people can see you. He's a StarCraft commentator, um, but he also plays on stream and he rages. He looks so unhappy. Because <laughs> it, it's a compilation of all the bullshit that happens. I could see that with a lot of punch streamers. Right? Yes. Definitely. I could definitely see that with a lot of... All right, and the video goes on, right? And the video goes on, and it's just hilarious because yeah. he's advocating his love for his game, and then you see the stream. And yeah. He's raging. <laughs> <laughs> how how do you think that applies yeah. to Hunt, dude? Oh, it applies for sure. Because one moment you're having a great day, like a, or a great whole day of of streaming or or playing Hunt. I mean, God, we've played for six, eight hours or whatever. <clears throat> right, right. Of Hunt and had great times, and it's all that. And the next day it could be like. <laughs> This game, screw this game. <laughs> Zombies and grunts. I'm getting headshot out of what 80 meters. I get a headshot out of somewhere. Yeah. And then you just like get frustrated, and it's it's the same thing. I think that's with every game out there. Uh, it's it's it can definitely be a downward spiral. Oh, it can definitely be a downward spiral. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Show some positive clips. Uh, show some positive clips. Positive vibe. God, do you have any? Oh my God. Jesus. I'm I'm genuinely. How much longer you know what? You know what? <laughs> there might be there might be one. You can you can search for one and and post it up so we can watch it. Um, I I uh, sure. All right. Yeah. So you know what I'll do? Hmm? Yeah. Go for it. No, keep going. I'll post one in your. Yeah. I'll, yes. I'll post the one that got attention to Crytek. All right. Okay. Hell yeah. So the other thing Wait, I want to talk is keybinds. Oh my god. And you know this is a big topic. Because you made a Reddit post, and apparently a developer told you that these were keybinds from hell. Yes. And yes, they told me it was from hell. <laughs> so for everybody who's unaware, I'm going to post a clip where Storm goes through his keybinds. Yeah, well, I, you got a picture a of it, forward, right? S for left, the picture from the Reddit page. For backward, and D for right. You, oh, yeah, there is a picture. Oh, I found this clip, so that'd be easier. Yeah. D for next <laughs> weapon. E for interact. B for dark side. X for map. D for push to talk. Okay. See, you guys just don't know, man. You don't know what you're missing. You guys just don't know what you're missing. <laughs> you don't. 
just because all the games default you to WASD. And so, guys, oh, Kempe posted the clip. Oh, no, you did. You did. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's that would be my most famous clip if you go by famous. All right, let's <clears throat> let's see it. These zombies over here. Well, it's not showing. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> what the f <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Behind me. <laughs> that was hilarious, dude. Oh, that was hilarious. Yes, yes, it was. <laughs> that made that made it that made it on last year's uh, Crytek Hunt Showdown. You know, appreciation to all the the gamers out there. Really? Pretty good. Yeah, oh, that's amazing, dude! Good. Congratulations on that. I did not know that. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, it doesn't really mean much, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, it got me. It got me some recognition. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I I have that one clip with me and the dogs, right? Killing the Afto, then the Dolch, and then the dogs almost kill me. Yes, that's so, right. So yeah, yeah, I understand you. Means a lot yeah. that first day, and then you everyone forgets you. about you. Fifteen seconds of fame. That's what it's all about. That's all what it's about. And here I'll I'll find this and I'll post it in your in your thing right now since we're on the key binding thing. All right. I hope it's a clip. Where you and I play yeah. with inverted keybinds. Oh no! But you got it. Oh, okay. That's a good one. Do that one. So you gotta do that one. Me and Storm. Great. Uh, I was giving Storm some shit because his keybinds are shit. From my opinion, of course, nothing objective about it. But um, so we traded keybinds for a day. We play like what eight, twelve games until we got a win. Yeah. Yeah. Something like, like that. that. This is how the first game went. Uh, we literally did not know what the hell yes. we were doing. I I couldn't figure out what the button to aim down the sights was. <laughs> Storm can't even move. <laughs> and he yeah. pulled up the map and he didn't know how to tap out. <laughs> And then we're just, we're <laughs> having the time of our lives. Yes, that was, that was awesome, actually. Yes, and so this is this is kind of what what go, what goes back to what we talked about, right? As long as you're having fun with the game, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, because that was just goddamn hilarious right there. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want, if nobody saw my Reddit post, but if you want to read some good yes remarks, this is the this is the link to that. And then there's some pretty funny comments on there. But I, you know what's actually interesting is um, would be this link here. Huh, I can't that, see the freaking... Uh, is a good read why all of you people are dumbasses. Because you followed one guy that decided to do WASD, and then so did all the game developers. <clears throat> well, remember when we were playing earlier, and I told you assume the position and just follow? Yes. It's because I if you're given follow. power, this is what comes out of it, and uh, yes. this I is this is crap. No. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's just what you know, my children. That's it. It's just what you know. Yeah, no, I can't hate on it. I can't hate on it. developers have been doing. The, honestly, though, it is a good read from PC Gamer they did a couple years ago on where did WSAD come from. And it came from, it came <clears> from um, Doom and Quake. With the the back then the the shroud back then was Thresh, I mean I remember trying to get into games and play Quake against Thresh, he was like the go to guy and he used WSND and that kind of changed everything around. So. Hmm. All right. But anyways. Fair enough. I'll, 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 I will be sure it. to uh, give that a read. Yeah, it's a it's a short read. It's yeah. Short. So last thing I wanted to touch on um, on <clears throat> yes. the topic of hunt before we move on to some free for all questions was. Community matches, like custom matchmaking. That's oh, a thing. Gotta it's going to be coming. Yes. Um, what are your thoughts on what features they should have? Because, you know, having the ability to choose what players go into a match would be great. But, mm -hmm. you know, what else are you wanting from that? 
Well, it needs to be able to, un- like, somebody can host their own game so mm-hmm. other people can join. So it's not just like, oh, I can invite nine of my other friends. I mean, it needs to be both, really, if it's to be successful. I mean, just like Overwatch with its custom matches. You can start one and other people join and all that stuff. So, but it needs to have the ability. I want to pick. Maybe I want everybody in the game to only have knives. That's, yes. Yes. You can, you know, how you can set it is is going to be huge. I mean, I think, I think it'd be great to be able to do that. I think it'll garner more people wanting to do their own community events like Pad. Yes. Like Padarius. Mm-hmm. You know, Padarius started. I mean, that was awesome. It was, you know, and then what happened that it killed it? Great. Oh, they removed well, they, solo they, for the yeah, quick play. The yeah. Solo event. Yeah. Yeah, for quick play, they were testing out, you know, quick play with the solo event thing. So, you know, um, yeah, it needs to be, it needs to be open. You know, maybe not as customizable as Overwatch is, but you know, at least pick your own weapons, your own loadouts, what you want it to be, so it's fair for everybody or something like that. Yeah, yeah, and, give a range uh, of weapons that are acceptable. Yeah, choose from these. Your friends, yeah, yeah, all yeah. That stuff. I think it would be a huge success. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take that and kind of step it up a little bit. What I would like to see is exactly what you just described. I would also like to have an observer mode. Um, Say that you are to have 10 people in a match. You're doing a tournament of sorts. You can have community tournaments. And now you are an observer. And it doesn't need to be a free-roaming observer. It could just be switching between the different points of view of people, right? That would be a good way to start. Because it might be too much with this engine you know, to be able to fly around and look at the whole thing. Okay, yeah, but I mean, just switching from uh, points right. of views, that would be amazing. Um, oh, and yeah. you can yeah. you can definitely get yeah. some good content out of that and some great fun. And I mean, you do yeah, a sure. tournament and, uh, you know, mm-hmm. you settle some disputes. Yes, you definitely. finally, you know, settle that big question like who's the best. You know, you yeah. you put some fail spawners in there. You put some pads in there, yep. and uh, you see who comes out on you top. You do seven rounds, best of seven. You know, even even better if it's more competitive. And then, like maybe there's some leaderboard that Crytek can host on the Hunt Showdown page, or I don't know something that maybe they do an official one, an official competitive custom match. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe you know, because yeah, because their whole even though their whole event that they did for uh, the solo event back then, I mean, was really more geared to how many people have hours to play the game. Yes, yes, uh, that is true, that is true. You know, yeah, so that was a little slighted, but, you know, if you can make it to where it's more over a week or somehow they could do it to get the community involved, I think would be a good thing. Sure. Right, and I, I completely agree. And let's say we go one step further. Yeah. We're talking inviting five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten friends into a match, yes. right? Which would be easy for streamers to do. Right, right. But let's say you only have one person you want to play the game with. Why not allow Mm -hmm. us to, in these custom matches, in these custom lobbies, choose one compound and that is your play area? As long as it doesn't give a monetary value to your character? No, I mean, every time you do a custom, it doesn't give you anything, you know. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't add to your character. No, it doesn't affect you in any way. Um, right. Yeah, because right. then people would farm it, right? And that's just yeah, not what we want. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't have farming. Oh my yeah, god, dude. That's, I don't know. That'd be kind of boring, though. I mean, just hey, buddy, let's go in there. And but yeah, yeah, you know, just like one v one, and then you have the same thing where you well, can maybe. set like, hey, we're gonna do <laughs> silence and gun only, and then you fight at scupper. You know, How about and then you do one on one, and there's only two compounds. That's it. You, everything yeah, else is like a well, I mean, but that would be nice if you could choose like which compounds are in play, and you or right. you have that circle from quick play, and you choose right. a compound, and then it's a circle around that compound, and that's where yes. your play area I would, is. I mean, that that, that would be amazing. That, that would be amazing. I find that type of feature would probably be way far off. I mean, they're just trying to get. <laughs> They, they seem to be moving pretty slow. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I, I agree, but we can dream. Yeah, we can dream. We can dream. We can dream. All right. So um, I'm going to move away from Hunt now, okay. and I'm just going to ask some questions. Gotcha. So I have this uh, little thing prepared. So I'm going to ask you some what weighs more questions. I got three of these. Oh, boy. So... Storm, 
I, I want you to think really, really hard about this. What weighs more? The world's biggest turkey what? or 10 six-packs of 12-ounce bottles of Coke? What are you smoking right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to repeat the question. What weighs more, uh, world's biggest turkey? I'll say the Coke. Or 10 six-packs of 12-ounce bottle Cokes. Of Cokes. 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 Got to be the Cokes. You would actually be correct. The world's <laughs> biggest recorded turkey weighs 37.6 pounds. What? And, yeah. What? At least that's what I found on the internet. So... <laughs> We're going based on that. What the hell you made you think that up? Um, and the six packs weigh around four point <laughs> five pounds per six pack. You just made me say "got it" for no reason. God um, it. what weighs more, Storm? Yes. One gallon of mercury. What the fuck? Or a king size mattress. Well, considering I don't have any clue how much mercury weighs. <laughs> I'm going to go with the mattress. You would be wrong. Mer one gallon of mercury weighs 113 pounds, while a king-size mattress can weigh around 95. Seriously? Yep. What kind of yep. dumbass question is that? It's a dumbass <laughs> question you got wrong. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, Bane. All right. Last yes. one. Agus has it right. Depends on the king-size mattress. Well, on is average. California king? Um, Maybe it's a California king. The king size and California <laughs> king range from 90 to 95 on average. Are you considering maybe it has a, a fluffy topper at the top? You know, extra cushion? Or is it just a flat? Hey, man, I'm just I'm just going off what I found <laughs> on the internet. Okay? So. Okay, gotcha. So All the right. last question, Storm. Yes. Jesus. What weighs more, an ostrich egg or six baby kittens? Ooh, I'm gonna say the ostrich egg. And Those you would be big. correct. You would be Those correct. Are big. The ostrich egg weighs around five pounds, <laughs> and each baby kitten is, on average, they weigh around three point five ounces. So six baby kittens would weigh about one point two pounds, where an ostrich egg would weigh about five. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So you're two for three, man. Um, I hell, got it, I got it. I got it right. You might even be three for three on the king size mattress one. It, this is uh, all for entertainment, so fuck it. <laughs> I, I, probably, I probably got it wrong. <laughs> so, <clears throat> okay, um, so, moving on, moving, moving on. on. I want to ask you: When <laughs> were you so low on money that you started thinking about stupid shit, like stupid stuff uh, related to money? So, for example. Um, I was involved in an accident where this guy T-boned me because he ran a green light, right? Yes. After the dust was settled, one of my first thoughts was, fuck, I just put gas money in this and I can't drive. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, is there... That's has not what I was thinking of. <laughs> So has in there a been a moment? Situation. Has there been a moment where you've been low on money and you just think like of something just completely minor, but you know you could have gotten some money out of it? I I I I don't know. To go against what you just said would be like me at the grocery store trying to buy some beer and wine or liquor or something like that. Going, shit, I don't have enough money in my account because I don't have a job right now. Well, let me use my money. <laughs> Let's not figure out a way to pay for it later. <laughs> glorious, glorious. And let because me if, because if I use my my normal debit card, the wife is gonna see it and bitch all over me about it. Like we don't have any money. Let me use the Amex card. Oh out man, pay back later. <laughs> that is hilarious. So you you would literally uh, use a credit card to hide it from your wife. That is great. That is great. Uh, oh, absolutely, been there. dude. You're been not there. there yet? Been there done that <laughs> i i identify with you for a bit um no i i remember buying a prepaid card at like cvs no way <laughs> so 
it didn't come out of the regular checking account. Oh, and let me clarify, because people were giving me shit. What I meant to say when he ran a green light is um, he had that um, yield on green. He was turning left, and he had to yield on green, and he didn't yield. That That's what happened. That's the whole scenario. Um, so... Yeah, that that's great, Storm. That's great. That is exactly the type of answer I wanted from you. <laughs> that is exactly the type of answer I wanted from you. So oh, yeah, let's. I want this, but I'll find a way to pay for it later. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes. you are a person of experience, right? I Fifty so. years <laughs> worth of experience. Fifty. What are some of your the key points in life right mm. and i know this varies for for a lot of people right because you know some people will say like oh by 25 i need to have like my own house my own job i need to have traveled around the world like seven times you know and they yeah. they put all this pressure on themselves but yeah. what 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 do you think are some key points in life like they could be based on age or just based on the event like um i don't know getting your house going on your first vacation, like um, getting married, I don't know. What are some key points in life that just, you can share uh, with us? I mean, that's a tough question, dude. I mean, the easiest thing is just say be happy, but it's hard to be happy if you don't have any money. And then, it's, <laughs> you know, because everything revolves around money. So, you know, you can, you can tell people the advice of, the biggest advice is find a job that you enjoy that mm. makes good money. If but is that a key a point? That that's not a key point in your life. Yeah. Giving advice, no, in like, my life. Oh no. No, 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 life? not in your oh. like, like in what? What are some key points of life? Like, I, I guess what you're trying to say there is like buying getting a house. A, buying a house. That's a big one. Yeah. That's a huge one, and and the the longer you rent, the worse you're in, because you should buy a house probably as soon as you can and invest in it. You know, because you can keep upgrading to the next bigger house, the next bigger house, and so on if you make right decisions. The and then else, you're in a situation where you're in a house that's too big for you. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, I'm in a house that's too big for me, and I need a downsize. So now you need a downsize. The older you get and the kids move out, you don't need a big house. You need to downsize and save money and pay for college. Would you say so, that a key point in someone else's life would be when they try out your key binds? Yes, that would be a big point <laughs> in somebody's life. If somebody would just give my key, but somebody else besides Johnny Money that could try my key binds? and see what they think for never mind that that's going to go wrong they're not going to like it <laughs> anyways <laughs> now positivity house, having your first child that's a big changing thing you know mm. it's huge you you think about the world differently um without a doubt no question about it change your life like that as soon as you've seen your baby born change your life like that it's uh it's just different so gotcha so um. So you're saying that when I turn 30, I won't magically grow chest hair? No, no. That for you? No. <laughs> <probably 35. laughs> okay, Honestly, okay. I always, I always thought I would have a child at 27, and I mean, Daxon didn't come around till I think I was 35, 34. I know. 36. But she's your youngest. Yes, she's my youngest. Well, I, I adopted my son. He's 20. But I've been with him since he was three. Oh, so okay. Okay. Him. Oh, that's yeah. nice. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I've been with him since he was three. <laughs> adopted him at twelve. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Wait. You adopted what? him at twelve? Yeah, because his father wouldn't give over rights. So great. Oh, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. So you've yeah. had him since he was three, but you yeah, officially and... adopted when he was twelve. Yes. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Been his father since. As soon as, the, as soon as the child support moved from California to Florida and the guy had to pay from $300 to $800 a month, he was like, oh, you can adopt. Let's talk about adoption. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty crappy. Anyways. Huh. Well, that's that's pretty cool. You know, I aspire to be like you. Um, me and my wife do. Like, we want to adopt one and have one. So, yeah. There's that. There you go. That's why you're my internet father for a reason. So you know, I try to be, man. If anybody needs advice, uh, the biggest, you know, the best thing, I give all the credit in the world to my parents. I mean, my dad passed away nine years ago. I think it'll probably be ten years this year, probably coming up. But man, 
it's just it's the upbringing, it's the parents. If let me, if I give this reference, how many people understand this reference? My parents were like the Cleaver clan family. Who gets that reference? Not me. Nobody. Leave it to Beaver was a TV show that was like from the 50s and 60s where parents oh, wow. argued and everything was happy. In the 45 years of my parents were married, I never saw them argue or anything. So no one right from wrong and just, you know, all that upbringing and stuff like that. It was just, oh my gosh. So, anyways. Well, they raised a, a fine gentleman. I could say that yeah. much. Yeah. yeah, thanks. Just, just being a good person, person man. Yeah. You know, yeah. helping other people out. We all got to try for it, man. Yeah. And uh, then in hunt your dick sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> And there goes your credibility. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Where my daughter says, don't instant burn. It just keeps recycling the hatred. I'm like, yeah, but nobody's following the leadership of not burning. They just keep burning. <laughs> so let's just keep burning people. So you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. <laughs> I was trying to bring it back to Hunt, man. <laughs> oh, by the way, Zero is saying um, that for real, advice about your firstborn is when you hold them for the first time, put your hand on their yeah. chest and feel the heartbeat. Yes. Yes. Uh, every, you know, when Daxon was little in her crib, man, every night I would go in there and put my hand on her chest just to make sure she was breathing. Every night. You know, it, it's just... Because you worry. I mean, there's those, you know, that situation where they can roll over and they can suffer. Right, the right. And all that stuff. So, yeah, every night, I'd roll. I'd just, is she breathing? Is she breathing? Okay, that's okay. And oh. I was lucky because she slept through the night where my son was, like, colicky. I would, whatever, that's a whole other story. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Well, so. um, kind of moving on. Um, yes. Do you have any life pro tips to share with the viewers? Life pro tips. Uh, in general, yeah, it would yeah. have to come. It would have to come. Probably the best life, knowing right from wrong, easily. And in the workplace environment, make connections. Because Very if you important. Want to grow, it's so important to make. Even though you could like think your boss is a shithead or something like that, which they could be, maybe not. It's it's who you know. I mean, I can't tell you, I mean, I've been probably three careers in my life having jobs. I've gotten the position because who I know, they, they believe in me, good worker and all that stuff. And I'm looking for a new job. They will take a person of who they know versus a stack of resumes that say they have a lot of experience. Yes. So because it's all about trust. So who you know in the work environment is, is big when you get into the career space. You know, if you're just working out and, you know, you know, little part-time jobs here and there or you're 17 or something like that maybe not so important but when you get in your 20s yeah it's who you know so make network connections it's all about relationships <clears throat> relationships is big if you're in a sales position sales is all about relationships people want to buy from people so you know not buy from a dipshit <laughs> <laughs> very and well phrased very well phrased I, you know the best thing i can say i've gotten to where i am today because of gaming you know really it's been gaming because when i started playing games on dos or like ultima 3 online way back then i was like well let's let's i want to make a, a bulletin board system and everybody right now on your stream is going what the hell is a bulletin board system but that yeah was i i don't know what that is so. that was a dial-up system before the internet you connect to a computer one at a time i didn't know how to do that figured out how to do that internet came out i want to make a web page to show off this thing in gaming i don't know how to do that let me figure out how to do that so you're talking kind of like a switchboard for operators <laughs> back then yeah pretty much it was like you know if you ever seen the movie war games sort of like that you know it's dial up <clears throat> one computer at a time that you're connected to so um but at the point is is that you you get into something you like <laughs> which garners more attention to make other things and that you don't know what to do and you learn from that and you keep growing so yes. you know that's gotcha all. and i am having a similar experience right now with home ownership right yeah it's it's just a bunch of stuff where i'm just learning about it on the go because i never paid attention when i was a child <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude. and i'm not the best at that either man i am not a handyman 
well, that doesn't go over well with the wife. You know, you need to fix this or that with the house. I'm like, I don't know how to do that. Let's go to YouTube. <laughs> Let's figure it out on YouTube. Yeah. There's yeah. a video for everything to fix something on YouTube. Oh, I so. agree. I agree. And, um, it got to the point where I was trying to do something and my wife was like, let's just pay somebody. Yeah. <laughs> so you know it was going bad. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's worth it just to pay somebody. And you, dude, your stream is like doing a multiple mirror. Yeah, it right wasn't now. doing it and then it was, which is weird. That's We're just going to... That's only because I have your stream up though. Oh, uh, I gotcha. And I have your stream up, so maybe that's why it's doing it. Maybe. Here. We're stuck in a feedback right. loop. <laughs> All right. I just moved, Fair I enough. Moved your Fair enough. Off my stream. <laughs> Fair enough. So, um, yeah. So summarizing before we get off trap, make connections, know <clears throat> yes. right from wrong. Yes. Anything else you'd like to add? Um. Be be no, not really. Just be nice. All right. All right. Be nice. You heard yeah, it here I mean... first, folks. <laughs> It's all good. Let's all make friends. Be happy. If we're talking the hunt, that's what's great about hunt. I mean, you know, you know how many people I've met in hunt, you know, alone that this community has been so great for. Johnny was a random, right? We met random. Yep, yep. Kempy I met from Pad's solo event. Pad I wa started watching from Dusk, uh, Dusk the Viking, or previous Dusk the Horror. You know, and everybody is so helpful, and we've made some good friendships. And Nick Ergomi's been in that mix, you know, and he's still a douche sometimes, but you know, whatever, we love him. And... Wow. <laughs> Poor Nick kidding. wasn't even saying shit. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I love Nick. <laughs> and love Denny's. He's on my stream. And all, you know, you got people that come in, and he's always clipping things for me. And, mm -hmm. I mean, just it's a very tight community, you know? made some good friends really that i never expected from streaming because i don't stream as like a career to make money I'm, it's it's just fun to meet new people yes you know? that's that's what it's about yeah just and meet new people i mean that's, that's why nice. that's why you're the bigger man because what that's what <laughs> i said that's why you're the bigger man because i stream for the side money you're just oh, like right. i want to meet people so I just... you're the bigger man man you're the bigger <laughs> man <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. if I get eight thousand subs on 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 Twitch, I'll quit my day job. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it happen, boys. Let's make it happen, yeah, I'll, and girls. I'll start ASMRing, and maybe that'll bring some more views. Oh, you I'll totally should, dude. You have that voice. Read you book. have that voice. Yes. Well, in a world, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get banned like Velvet did the other night. <laughs> well, why did she get banned? Uh, because too much sexual content or whatever, because basically she's showing her boobs all the time. Hmm. Cleavage. Gotcha. So. Well, I came prepared with some life pro tips <sighs> of my own. They weren't as insightful as yours, but okay. um, for all you people, if you buy an item on Amazon and the price goes down within 30 days, you can email them and they will refund you the difference. So that's always good to know because everybody uses Amazon. Amazon is easy to deal with. You can tell them anything's wrong with your product and they'll just send you another one. <laughs> well, now you're that's going good. into unethical life pro tips. But, hey, still a pro tip. Right. <laughs> hey, you got to gain the system. <clears throat> so, another one. If your roommate's cell phone alarm is going off and he or she isn't in the, roof, in the room, call yeah. their number. The alarm will actually turn itself off after a call. So, that's, that's another good one to know. Yeah. So if there's an alarm going off and you know the number, just call it. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Good tip. Also, when yes. you know how you have pictures on your phone, right? And then you're trying to show off yes. a picture. But yes. right before that picture is maybe a dick pic, right? You don't <laughs> want them to see it. So you can actually zoom in oh when God. you're showing a picture of people. You can zoom in a little bit. And yes. that way they can't swipe right or left. So they only see the picture that you're showing them. Good tip. Yes. Didn't think about that. I'm pretty sure you didn't. <laughs> you know, hey, just just for the traveling people out there, you know, hotels, they don't ever change the comforter. They just change the sheets. So you might want to take a purple light, a blue light or whatever on your 
comforter. See what's on there. Maybe you don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did hear that. I did hear that the you know the what they took a poll, mm. and the thing that people did the most when they first got into a hotel room was jump on the cover. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so don't do not do that, guys. It's really unsanitary. <laughs> so, <clears throat> hey, all right, Night Crane. So, jumping to another segment. Um, stuck in the mud. And this segment came to me on Friday. Um, yes. This is, when did you try everything and still needed help? Um, so this came to me after, (laughs) well, this came to me after I was driving a truck for work and I stepped off the road, like to let cars pass. I stepped off the road and it was bad soil and I got stuck. So I'm just sitting there like, fuck. And so what do I do? I look up an Allstate video on how to (laughs) get unstuck. They had four steps in it. I followed them. I went and looked for loose sticks, anything solid that I could put under the tires. I tried to rock it out. Like, it just, nothing worked. That's the ideal thing to do. Nothing worked. And so I tried everything I could, and I still needed help. What is your stuck in the mud moment? Oh, my God, dude. Where I still needed help on something that I couldn't figure out. Yeah, just it could be anything. Like you, you tried everything you knew, and yet you still needed mm. help. <clears throat> uh, that could be a lot of things, dude. Yeah, just just that, that could be a lot of things. Throw it out, throw it out. No, oh, thanks for the follow, Lost Crane. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. dude. I have no clue. Probably <laughs> something to do with the water heater. <laughs> hey, that's I was, trying to, I was trying to fix the water heater. I tried YouTube videos. I was trying to do multiple different things. I couldn't figure it out. I had to call somebody in finally and pay the 80 bucks or whatever for the visit. <clears throat> um, dude, I don't know. That's a good question, man. <laughs> well, you, you can keep thinking about it if, you, if yeah, anything I'll comes to mind. You could just. That's a, that's a good. That's a really good question. Yeah. Well, I'm I stuck in the mud moment. Yes. Yeah. So if you think mm. about something, you could just shout it out like a person with. Um, just, Tourette. Yeah. Pretty okay. much. All right. Okay. So just don't mind me if I'm talking. You could just shout over no, me. No. If keep going, you I'll have it. All about right. This one in depth. Well, <laughs> my next question is: um, You're at a five-star hotel. Oh wait. Hmm? I got it. Okay, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> uh, when I was with my wife before she was with my wife, I mean, she was my wife and my son at the time. Well, he wasn't my son yet, but we were still kind of, we you know, nah, were we married? I can't remember. Well, whatever. It was right there before we were married or right after. Hmm. Had to be before because I was over at her mother's house and – son shrimpo hunter is his gamer tag name um at three years old had to go to the bathroom and take a crap and my wife was like well go in there and help him i'm like what <laughs> what do you mean help him i'm like yeah go in there and help him i'm like what do you want me to do well you're gonna need to wipe his i'm like what <laughs> this is my first time i'm like i don't know what to do <laughs> you go in there i'm like uh y'all done there kid? <laughs> Dude, I've never done this before. <laughs> but that's more of a, I've tried nothing and I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> I've tried nothing, but the first time you got to wipe another person's ass is like, what the fuck? <laughs> that was one of those moments, like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> never done this in my life. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll try and do it like what I would do, but I mean... <laughs> It was not a good moment at all. <laughs> I mean, finally, I was like, um, could you come help me? <laughs> could you come in here? Oh, you got it. Oh, could you come in here, please? <laughs> oh, that's oh, great. 
some of that goes to your stuck in the mud moment. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. Wait, Thank you for sharing. Johnny, wait till you get there, brother. <laughs> And after that, my son shit in every freaking restaurant and state that we drove. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, you will learn to love public restrooms. Uh, well, it at uh, least it's not as bad. Um, I was watching this interview with somebody yeah. I can't remember who, and they were saying how they were at this country, right, and they didn't speak the language, and so the yeah. guy took a massive shit and clogged the toilet. It wouldn't go. It wouldn't flush down. So instead of him being a dick and just leaving it there, he went up to an employee, just like beckoned him to go to the bathroom. Right. Yeah. The employee yeah. followed him, and then he goes over and tries to flush it, and it goes down. And then he's like, "How weird do I look? Where I <laughs> get an employee to watch me flush down my shit?" <laughs> That's so at least it wasn't that. That's bad. <laughs> just, just wait till you people out there have kids, and the first time you have to do it, and I mean, you're wiping out another kid's butt for three, four years until they can do it on their own. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways. Anyways. Um, continue, continue with the question. Moving on. Um, you're at a five star hotel. Yes. There's there. there's a gas yeah. leak, and yes, all the cooking staff is just yes. knocked out they're not okay. available to do the meals so the hotel manager gas leak. yeah i don't know i don't know just roll with it right. so the All hotel right. manager oh. comes over to you and asks you to prepare the meal plan the question is what energy drink slash cereal combo would you do like what cereal would you put in a bowl and then fill it up with an energy drink instead of meat of milk what combo would you do <laughs> To please people at a five-star restaurant. So, so not really get out of the hotel with the gas leak. No, 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 no. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Let's just provide a breakfast. Don't worry about that, dude. Yeah, that's an easy question. You got to keep the business running. Yeah, no problem. You just want a a, a breakfast (laughs) cereal question, right? Yes. You use instead of milk. Easy, dude. You got you got to tell me what cereal and what energy drink. Ah, piece of cake, cinnamon Cinnamon toast crunch crunch and Red Bull. That'd, That'd be good. Cinnamon Toast Crust and Red Bull. I got someone, Agus, saying Fruity Pebbles and Monster. How do you feel about that one? Ooh, Fruity Pebbles is pretty good. Monster, though, is kind of making me gashy. Um, so, you know, something in it might make other people gaseous. Mm. So Red Bull is kind of clean, you know, simple. Gotcha. Oh, I love the way you're thinking about this. That is, that is good because you're at a five-star hotel, right? You can't right? just make you people gaseous. You can't, you can't make people start freaking, you know. I mean, that's that's probably what knocked out the restaurant staff, right? <clears throat> You're trying to avoid did. a repeat. Right. Yeah. Okay. I got. Hey, man. Great answer. Yeah. Great answer. Yeah. I love how you I, thought I, all of this I, out. I thought. I thought that was key. Yeah. Yes. I. I mean, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> this is why. This is why you you're you. Toast crunch. You know, <laughs> makes it a little sugary. A little, mm. little Red Bull, spice it up a little bit. Yeah. I you like it. A little vodka in there too. You know. Oh. You know, oh. Wow. You know, We're going there. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would probably try that. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> I I just got one more mm. segment I want to do. Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna throw out some examples here, and then yes. you follow up. So All it's right. called it's minor annoyances segment. So it's just something that's annoying, but it's not really annoying. that big of a deal, right? So <clears throat> Johnny, money. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Do you know what potato sticks are? Uh, yeah, yeah. So okay. when I eat hot dogs, I put potato sticks on top of it, and then I put my ketchup on top. Now, what happens when I take a bite is the potato sticks might fall off, and then they mm-hmm. take the ketchup with it because I put it on top of the potato sticks. So now I have the problem where I have to take a bite of the hot dog without ketchup because the potato sticks fell with the ketchup. And right. unless I use my goddamn hands like a savage, why you um, put the potato the ketchup on the on the bun first, bro? Because I missed that step. Yeah. But well, you know, nice. this is a minor annoying segment, so that's minorly annoying. Um, right. Also, when you drink coffee or an energy drink and you aren't yes. hyped up, but you're still yeah. tired as fuck, so yeah, you can't right. either sleep 
or you don't have the energy to do something. Yes, that happens. Super annoying. Um, the other minor yes. annoyance is when you do something correctly, but it doesn't yeah. work, and then someone else does the exact same thing, and it works for them. And now you just look dumb. From, like, like any, any perspective, perspective, anything in life perspective? Yes, yes. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah like, like, I tried I that, that, and now it works. Yeah. So I feel I feel like an idiot when I buy a lotto token and I don't win and then someone else does it and they win. So right. How does, how does I feel happen? like an idiot how now. <laughs> so you got any uh minor annoyances? Um like that? Wait, where where are we going back to the potato sticks and the ketchup and the hot dogs? Just any do minor that? annoyances. What do you mean? Where do we leave on that one? Oh, that was the annoyance with the potato sticks. Yeah, because the, the, the potato sticks fall off yeah. and they take the ketchup and then... I was going to go on like a, a binge of like the best hot dog I've ever had was like in Spain one hmm. time. Where it was like a hot dog with like vegetable soup type stuff on it and then like hot sauce and then potato chips. And it was the best hot dog I ever had. Probably because I was three sheets when drunk off my ass. <laughs> Probably. But it was like really good. You can't really trust a drunk person, was, though. It was really good. Ones. Not on food. But no, one of those moments where somebody else has done something and did something better like that. Um. No, no, you don't. You don't have to. Like, it's just something that minorly annoys you. You don't have to say like what I said. That somebody does better. Just hmm. what. No, just kind of what what's something that annoys, annoys you that me? could be like a minor thing, but you know, mm. I just gave out some examples, but you know, mm. quick wit and common sense. Yeah, probably that. Maybe. What annoys you about a that? Lot of good, I don't know because I wish I had better common sense, basically. And like this one person I know is uh, got a little bit better common sense and uh, free going and always like uh, rags me on it. So, which is funny, actually. It's, I, I take it. But, um, yeah. That's all. Pretty much. Okay. I don't have a lot of good common sense. I'm sharp in work and career. And, That's good. Uh, That's good. Things. Yeah, stuff like that. But the little stupid common sense of being a handyman, not so much. Okay. So, yeah. All right. All right, then. Well... That's all I got. Do you have anything you want to say? Do you have any question you want me to ask you? Uh, that you want to ask me? Do you, is there something that you want me to ask you? I haven't, haven't is there you something you want to say? For the night? <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. I, I know how you feel uh, about it. 